Hello everyone, I'm Scratch. Welcome to the channel. This is a Dragon Air Silent Gods video. Hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday. Apologies for yesterday, guys. I just didn't have a chance to do a video. I was so busy IRL and even today we are a bit late with the, with the video. Today we're going to discuss about the Grave of Rot. It's one of the most annoying dungeons in the game actually and I don't have the fastest farm team for this particular dungeon but I'm gonna share with you guys couple of different strategies that will help you to defeat this boss and I'm gonna showcase my team as well. How I mentioned not the fastest one. Now this dungeon is mainly gonna need cleansers. It's gonna need block debuffs if you have that available, healing and shield. Now I'm using shield on my team and I'm gonna explain you why I'm using shield but basically the boss will put the healing prohibition on your team, will put poisons and then we will put the uh, decrease ultimate energy basically you're not going to be able to load your ultimate energy so if you have a champion like vikak for example which removes two debuffs you're still going to be left with another one so just to kind of like make this a hundred percent win rate without having to constantly keep an eye on it you're going to have to use two different champions that fit that role block debuffs uh clans that's what i'm doing at least on my team to ensure that i don't constantly have to see defeat or ah, what happened this run i gotta i gotta keep an eye on it the presets are not working good so that's kind of like uh, what i want to point out now sigrid is the ultimate best champion for this dungeon you're going to need a uh, heal reduction on the boss whenever the boss devours your champion he's gonna get healing back so having heal reduction is gonna be very important on top of it decrease attack is gonna be massive if not the boss will smack you and will put your champs back to back to their place basically so this is the team that we're running we have Furbart. he's gonna get devoured by the boss he's bringing the he some of the healing he's bringing the decrease attack then we have a uh, vikuk he's gonna do the cleanse he's gonna do more decrease attack and he's gonna have a uh, accuracy penalty which honestly this champion is made for this dungeon okay you have the accuracy penalty you have the decrease attack and removes debuffs and then heals based on how many debuffs he removes as well on the entire map this is the champion that I picked from the 99 cents chest, guys, with the epic heroes. Then I have Adolphus. It might be very unusual for a lot of you guys to see this hero in here, but he's uh, in here basically because of the shield, okay? And I wanna, I wanna keep everything up and running. You could use the Traveler if you want instead on the Frost element. It's not a, it's not a bad idea if you have a combo of uh, feeling the three elemental affinity. And then I have Catherine. It's kind of like Hexandra on steroids. Because uh, Catherine, she actually brings block debuffs, immunity with the, with the ultimate skill, you know. So this is what we're running. I do have a bit of a preset, but I feel like something is off. And uh, we're going to check it during the run. And I'm going to show you how to adjust it as well if you are running something similar, of course. One thing to keep in mind that's going to be different from player to player is how much skill haste you have on your heroes. It's going to be pretty hard to uh, reproduce the exact same stats on all of your heroes. I have 33, then I have the Rift Hourglass, gives me 100 more. Uh, then you might have 20 on your Adolphus. I have zero or etc. You know how it goes. But just to, to point that out, and I do tend to use food with this dungeon because I need the extra accuracy on a Sigrid, for example. You see, the accuracy is pretty low. It's only 150. So I'm trying to gain more accuracy on her. Maybe a couple of upgrades. Once I'm going to actually level up the Crown of the Unclean, I feel like, this is on my list right now and I should be able to take it up a couple of levels. I don't think I can do three, but I can, uh, four, sorry, but I can do three. That will give me more accuracy. That was something that I was intending to do for a long time and uh, I just didn't have the material. So now we have better accuracy on her. I usually use food. I, I gain 10% more defense and uh, accuracy, you know. That being said, let's crack on with the run, guys. I feel like we, we talked enough and... Nothing too crazy on the presets. I'm trying to delay Catherine as a, a, a little bit with the, with the block debuffs, you know, just to make sure she's uh, putting them up at the same time. Now, the reason why I have shield here, guys, when you have heal reduction, okay, hear me out. When you have heal reduction, what's going to happen is that you're not going to be able to heal. Having a shield on your team is going to keep your champions alive. If not, the boss will kill them. You're going to notice that in your own team. If you're not running a champion that shields, as soon as you have the heal reduction on, and you might not have the cleanse, you might not have the immunity before to stop it, you're going to drop on the HP when the boss hits you, and you're going to die. 
okay? The shield will help you to stay alive, and on top of it, will help you to uh, recover. You know, you, you get that uh, cleanse done after, and you're going to have time to heal in between the hits from the boss. That's why I would suggest you to use a shield champion if you're struggling on this dungeon. I feel like it's a very, very important thing to keep in mind, you know? But this is what, uh, what we have going in here. I have decreased attack from multiple champions. Very important to have it uh, up as much as, uh, as possible. You see, my Catherine here was a bit too slow in using the ultimate skill. And uh, we got debuffed. My Vika is not uh, uh, doing the cleanse in time either. So I need to see what happened to Catherine. I feel like I changed some gear on her and she lost some skill haste. Because she's not recovering the, the ultimate skill fast enough. Usually she was putting uh, the ultimate starting from here before the boss was using the first skill. So I was always covered with the debuffs, you know. But for whatever reason, I must have changed probably the runes on her and I forgot. I gotta recover the skill haste just to, to be spot on, you know. And uh, my problem will be fixed afterwards. But the main idea is even, even though I have all these issues, the shield helps me. If I wouldn't have had that shield right there, the boss would have hit me very hard because... I wasn't able to heal for the entire duration. Then Vikuk landed the cleanse. It's very important to have a champion that can cleanse more than one debuff. So if we're talking about another rare champion, it's not going to be the best option. But if you're pairing her with somebody else that cleanses, it might work, you know. You, you will still need to have tons of healing. And that shield is very, very important. I, I, I know, like, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again. And how you may notice... Is not my fastest run because of all the support that I'm bringing in the team to have that peace of mind that I don't have to worry about this uh, this uh, team. You know, I don't have to worry to check it all the time. Uh, I know manualing was big uh, a big part of this dungeon in the in the bear as well, and it's pretty annoying for a lot of people. You know, uh, just kind of like wanted to to point that out. Vika is kind of like back on a on spot with a. With a cleanse here, sorry, my light seems like it just uh, went crazy here, guys, for whatever reason. So my lightning is going to change a little bit. Luckily, we have the remote. I don't know why I have these two lights in here, guys. And sometimes, randomly, they just turn on and off or they just activate. But I have no idea why. I have them for two years and I haven't been able to discover what's happening. It must be some something with the frequency of the, the controller, you know. Weird stuff and off topic from the video scratch. Way to go. But you see how impactful is the shield on my team? Let me just actually move a bit my big head on the side. So you guys can, guys can see kind of like what's, uh, what's happening here. We do have that heal reduction popping off there. And uh, it's very important to have it on. That's why Sigrid is the best because she does it with a battle skill and the ultimate skill at the same time, you know. Exandra can be good to help you with the healing in here. But you really need to be spot on with the cleanse. You really need to be spot on with the rest. If you're not spot on with that, uh, she's not going to be effective. That's why I, I tend to have two champions doing multiple, uh, multiple things, you know. A block debuff from her now is spot on again. The cleanse is a bit late. And the, the whole idea is that if you are making these presets, they're still bad, guys. Okay, they're still bad. Luckily, we had that shield on Vikuk because he had heal reduction, which we didn't manage to cleanse. And that was going to cause issues for us here. Okay, we got a cleanse dropping in here. And again, we are too slow with... Uh, oh, just on time with the block debuffs. Look at that, beautiful. Of course, the boss is a skill from here. When it puts a recharging speed penalty on us, it will affect the presets. And that's another thing that you need to keep in mind for this dungeon. That's why the presets are not very reliable on this dungeon in particular because of that. Plus it's the latency that counts and everything else when you're setting uh, that on. And uh, yeah, I do feel like having the, the right support, even though the run is slower, I'm going to turn on my multi-battles if I have any. Or uh, just use blue stacks. You can do it with macros if you're playing on the PC. And do your 5-10 fights a day. And leave them in the background while you're doing something else, you know, so you don't need to keep an eye on every single one of the runs. Even though they take longer, how I mentioned, I prefer to, to do it in this, uh, in this way so I don't have to, to worry about it, you know. I wish they would make the presets so the boss and the champion skills are kind of like on the same timing and 
I'm gonna use my block debuff skill, for example, before the boss uses the basic skill or before he uses the ultimate skill. And that makes more sense with what's happening on the on the board. But that needs to be done for every single dungeon, for everything in the game. Based with the time is is not good. It's, it should definitely get improved. Hopefully it's gonna it's gonna happen soon. So you see no heal reduction from Sigrid. The boss managed to, to heal himself, unfortunately. Even though you put the presets, still not very very impactful. Okay, put that block debuffs on, so at least we're not getting uh, the decrease uh, decrease speed on uh, on our team. That's why this is a is an is a, is an annoying dungeon. Sorry, I, I couldn't speak there for a second. It's an annoying dungeon because of all the things that are happening in here, you know. And he hits pretty hard, man. Like he definitely hits hard. The shield is what uh, keeps us up and running. And you've seen it was very very close to the limit with the time. 5 minutes and 34 seconds. Now my best time was 2 minutes and 51 seconds. And that was using 2 DPS champions without having Catherine. Was, but that team was failing a lot. Was failing way too much. And I was like, yeah, I'll rather have a team that does the job. And I don't have to worry uh, about retrying it a million times. Plus that wastes your multi-battles too. Frodbart, as usual, he is on the Ancestral set and... Uh, Stats are fairly decent on him. 4k defense, 88k HP. I definitely want to drop more HP for defense, but the pieces of gear that I have on him are not that uh, that good with the sub stats, you know. 280 accuracy. We managed to get the accuracy up. If you guys remember in a in the last video, if this was rolling me triple defense, it would have been so much better. But unfortunately, it didn't, guys. It didn't. But this is a nice is a nice accuracy rune, so we cannot complain about that. That's for sure. Then if we're going to have a quick look at Vikuk. Vikuk is built on a, a Brotherhood uh, set. And that's mainly because uh, I'm going to get increased attack from it. And it's going to be very helpful in the Vortex. I am using him in my Vortex team. Total stats on him. Uh, 58k HP, 2.4k defense. And I have uh, 223 accuracy. He definitely needs a bit of extra accuracy. For the Vortex, I usually change the change the uh, negative rune for uh, accuracy instead, you know, just to make sure I'm spot on. Sigrid, she's built on an executioner set. I need her like this for uh, the goblin. Now, when I'm doing goblin, I'm usually changing the runes. I'm ge uh, getting this attack rune on her. And here as well, I feel like I got a new attack rune because I farmed a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, ancient battlefield recently. Yeah, we got another rune. But as she stands right now, 38k HP, 1.8k defense, 3.2k attack, 88 crit rate, 119 crit damage, 176 uh, accuracy. Then we have Catherine right here, guys. And uh, she is built as well on uh, Radiance. And uh, this is actually helping her to heal a bit too. Not so important in the Grave of Rod, but just generally is a, is a pretty good set for her. She gets the Enlightenment, which is very important for her, uh, for her healing, you know. And we have 61k HP. We have 250 enlightenment on her, 2.5k defense, and she doesn't really need anything else. The more skill haste, the better, honestly, especially for this dungeon. You've seen how much that uh, that decrease speed penalty was uh, actually delaying our ultimate skill when uh, we were attempting to to use it with her. And we have Adolphus again on a radiant set too, and mainly that's because he will. Uh, do his shield based on enlightenment as well. Total stats, 48k HP, 2.4k uh, defense, 250 enlightenment. And the rest doesn't really matter on Adolphus either. But his shields with a with a battle skill on, a, on an ally increases the ultimate energy. And that usually will be on, a, on Sigrid. So getting that ultimate energy on her is helpful. And then you have uh, this shield on uh, all, uh, all your team right here, which is pretty... A pretty nice touch, actually. And you can get a bit of healing, too, from, um, from it. That's pretty much everything for my Grave of Rod. Now, you can have different sort of options. If you have Decrease Attack, you're going to be spot on. So, I feel like the most replaceable champion for my team is going to be Frerbart. Not a problem to, to replace him. And just bring in a different tank like Garius, because we have a tag down from Sigrid. We have a tag down from Vikuk. The Cleansers are much harder to replace. Like, there are not many... Uh, there are not many champions in the game that cleanse multiple debuffs. We do have uh, Gulende who does it, but she's a legendary champion. So it's pretty hard for the majority of people to get a specific legendary champion. She dispels all the debuffs, which is nice. 
you do have different options for champions that do immunity block debuffs and that will be for example tia which is a pretty awesome champion she does a uh, healing prohibition too she uh, does invisibility and de debuff immunity the invisibility from her will actually bring 15 percent damage reduction which is very very nice and uh, you're getting a bit of a healing from her as well so she's a pretty solid option too you could potentially try something with him as well with feats basically he transfers all the debuffs from all of the of the team to himself and as she only dispels one debuff uh etches she only dispels one debuff as well you know but she does have a recharge uh, speed penalty she has healing prohibition with a with a battle skill she's pretty nice for it as well but you need more you need more than that and uh, shield i feel like it's gonna be even more important if you don't have a good uh, a good cleanser let me know what team are you guys running on the Grave of Rot, what stage you're doing, how fast you're farming it, you're using some sort of a different strategy or anything like that. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you smash a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all soon in the next video. Peace.